Hello everybody, we are in another new location today because I am back properly at home now. So we have a new filming location, welcome! So today I'm going to attempt to run through everything I brought with me in this backpack on my first five months of backpacking. This is future Anne, um, I've now unpacked everything but I forgot to say that this is for five months travelling through um, both hot and cold climates so we started off in Spain but then we went to Japan which was quite cold because it was November um, and then we went on to Thailand, Vietnam and Malaysia which were all really hot. So this is so heavy. This. <laughs> it looks absolutely massive next to me. <laughs> this is the Fairview Trek 70 litre. It's from Osprey. This is a very, very big bag. I did not realise how big and how heavy this was actually going to be until we set off to the airport for the first time. And oh my god, this is a lot of weight to be carrying around. So basically, we're just gonna open this thing up. This was literally packed up yesterday because we had to leave our flat in Sheffield to come home. So one of my favourite things about this backpack is that it opens up like a suitcase. So I don't know whether you can see, but it kind of like all opens out, which has made it much easier for trying to find things rather than taking a backpack where it opens at the top and you've got to fish right down to the bottom to see everything that you've got. At least this opens up so you can sort of see the whole layout of the rucksack. I'm literally just going to start with the first packing cube here, which is my toiletry packing cube. So I bought these big blue packing cubes, which in retrospect are way too big, you can get them that are much smaller, that fit everything in much better. This is a bit extra, I won't lie, there's a bit too much stuff in here and there's also a shampoo and conditioner which are now in the bathroom. But I think next time I go I'll bring shampoo and conditioner bars, like the reusable bars. So, with a hairbrush in here. I bought this like face wash stuff in Japan um, and this has lasted me the entire five months and there's still some in there. There's just some spray in here, some body spray, shower gel. And then we sort of come into all the like kind of medicine-y bits. So I have some allergen tablets because when we got to Thailand I got bitten really really badly and ended up with like massive blisters all the way down my legs and it was disgusting. And um, I realised I must be having some kind of allergic reaction so I just like take a couple of these every day and um, that kind of stopped that from happening. Uh, we also got some like cold and flu tablets, didn't really need these but nice to have anyways. These are like some tablets that I picked up at the pharmacy, they're called Diclofenac and they were supposed to be the same sort of thing to try and stop the bites from hurting so much. Uh, we have some indigestion tablets that I picked up in Vietnam um, because the food in Vietnam was just making me so poorly. Some rehydration like diarrhea powder type things. We didn't actually get food poisoning which I was so so lucky to say we were backpacking for five months. Um, but these worked really well a few times when we got really headachy and really dehydrated. And then there's some more miscellaneous items in here. So we have some Factor 50 sun cream. If there's one thing that I'd say to stock up on before you leave the country is sun cream because it was quite hard to find and when we found it, it was quite expensive as well. And you also have to make sure that they don't have whitener in them abroad. Some moisturiser, I went through so much moisturiser. Nail polish remover, as you can tell, this was probably a bit of a silly purchase judging by the state of my nails constantly. Screen wipes, um, I'm not sure I needed a pack of 100 digital um, wipes. Yes, yeah, so I have like a few of these that I rip off my glasses, so next time I probably just try and take so next time I go, I'll probably just try and find some sachets rather than taking a big pot like this. Just a little like mirror compact type thing. Didn't really need this, didn't wear enough makeup to justify that. This is something that I'm really glad that I had. My mum bought me this before we went and it's just like a little bag in a, um, in a pouch. And the amount of times we used this when we went on shopping trips and whatever else, I am so, so glad that we had this. Bug spray, we took so much bug spray. We had about six bottles of bug spray between us and then we also had some um, wristbands and some creams and honestly, looking back now, we did not need that much. Bug spray is so, so easy to find everywhere you go, especially in Southeast Asia and a lot of it is a lot better than what we have at home because it's more suited to the kind of bugs they get over there. But when we were in Thailand, I found loads of really cheap alternatives that work just as well. Paracetamol, there's some more here as well. Paracetamol, always handy to have. Hair bubbles, one nail polish, probably wouldn't choose bright pink again, but there we go. Just my razor, razor blades, 
And then again, just another little reusable bag. This one's still covered in sand, that's actually disgusting. And like a little pouch that I kept some spare earrings in. Um, but that's about it for the Tight Witches bag. I do have my makeup bag separate. I did not need all this. I did not need all this at all. Okay, moving on to shoes because they seem to be what's like sort of squished on the top of the pack. And I brought these like old Nike trainers, which I didn't wear that much, but they came in handy for when we went on walks. Um, and if I wanted to run, which was probably about once in the entire trip, but they did come in handy for the gym every so often. I brought these Converse and I was sort of debating with myself whether I was going to take these. The reason I actually brought these is because I bought them just before we went away and I wanted to wear them. Um, they were nice to have but I probably wore them like 10-15 times throughout the entire trip. I wore them a lot in Japan but then after that it was kind of easy to wear my Vans which are the shoe that I wore the entire trip bed on stairs but I think if I was to choose between these and my Vans I would pick my Vans every single time and also these aren't that comfy. I don't find Converse to be that comfy. Uh, down this side here, a pair of just flip flops and then finally I brought a pair of just like little Primark sandals. I didn't need these. That is everything for shoes, so I'll move through into the main packing cube, which is a bulky one. This is all the clothes that I took, and this is just way too many clothes. I was really happy because I thought that because I had a massive backpack, I should try and fill it with as many clothes as possible. That was not practical. I would have much rather have had a lighter bag and less clothes because I didn't wear many of these anyways. So I'll move that out of the way. So the good thing about these packing cubes is you need ones with compression straps. I didn't realise that Adams didn't have these compression straps on them um, and he found it much harder to pack his bag than what I did. So I guess we'll just start from the top. Plain black t-shirt, absolutely yes, would take again. I ended up sticking to a lot more plain things than I did the pattern things. So the same thing again, a plain white t-shirt which is kind of looking more grey now but handy. I really like this Vans t-shirt. I wanted something a bit longer sleeved in case I got burned. <laughs> this came in handy quite a few times. It was just when I'd like caught my shoulders and wanted something that I could just cover my arms with. I went through about four pairs of jeans while we were backpacking just because I go through them so quickly. Some of the places you go, I felt this especially when we got to Kuala Lumpur, um, I felt more comfortable wearing long trousers, plain grey t-shirt. This was one of those things that I didn't know whether I was going to wear or not. This is just like a little dress type thing. I thought this was going to be too fancy, but actually when we went out for dinner a few times, it was nice to have something a bit dressier. And this is probably the one, well, there's a few other pieces in there, but this is like the main dressy thing that I took. This top, I love this top. Um, but I just didn't end up wearing it, it's not that comfy, it's not that nice of material and it was just too hot to be in all the time. And right before we left I picked up some like little crop tops from Boohoo, um, so I got like a black one and then I've got one in this like pinky colour as well. Plain pair of denim shorts. I don't know how I feel about taking denim shorts on a backpacking trip because in one way I really enjoyed having them but in another way they take up so much room in a packing cube obviously because they're quite bulky and I found that they're just not as comfortable as walking around in cotton shorts but I didn't actually end up finding many other pairs of shorts that I liked so I did end up wearing these a lot same thing again with some more little crop tops from Boohoo these are like just little vest tops that you can tie at the front and um, I wore these all the time Okay, so you know that I surrendered and I bought some elephant pants and I didn't wear these that often because honestly they were just to go to the temples but the amount of times that we couldn't go into temples because I hadn't got any elephant pants or any sort of long trousers it was just ridiculous so I just kind of bit the bullet at the end and just thought these are the best thing to buy um, just because they're really light so they just go in my backpack nice and I could go out in these the temples and not be overheating. I didn't like going in jeans. I'd much rather go in something like this, even though it is like a cringy backpacker staple. So I had like one pajama t-shirt and then one pajama set. This, I wish I had brought a lot more jumpsuits. I think when I wasn't in my denim shorts, I was in a jumpsuit because these are just so much comfier and it's only one item of clothing like I could just get up in the morning and choose one item rather than having to mess around trying to pair outfits together I just kind of chuck this on so I'm 100% gonna buy some more jumpsuits before we go next time I have a sarong I didn't use this I probably used this once or twice I would not bring this again 
<laughs> a pair of leggings. I thought I was going to work out a lot more than what I actually did. I think it's all well and good saying you're going to work out on a backpacking trip, but the likelihood is that you're going to spend that much time out and about walking around doing all kinds of activities anyways i didn't really feel like i had the time to work out these just weren't a good idea they're green so they didn't go with anything and um, i wore them a few times on the plane and then we just kind of decided as if i didn't really like them and i've not worn them since i did however end up buying a black pair of leggings towards the end of our trip that you will have seen a lot because i just didn't stop wearing them after i bought them they were the best thing that i could have bought rather than a green blue and black pair of fitness leggings <laughs> then we have another pair of shorts another pair of denim shorts these were too small i kept clinging on to them thinking that they were going to fit at some point they didn't i wore them about four times and then i just didn't want to throw them away and the same thing with the last item of clothing some white shorts these just didn't quite fit weren't quite comfy enough to wear throughout the day i also brought another couple of t-shirts so i had a tommy hilfiger t-shirt and like another little boohoo black t-shirt um, and I found that t-shirts are just the comfiest thing to wear swimwear I have a lot of swimwear did I need it all? probably not I have like five sets of swimwear here I didn't need all of that I've also got in here a couple of microfiber towels I'm making such a mess like there's such a pile over here now there's a dry bag in here that isn't holding anything that really needs to be kept dry I only use a dry bag once um, when we went on the Thailand island hopping trip before that it was so handy because we could put the phones in there and we didn't have to worry about them getting wet and finally this has ended up being a bit of a miscellaneous bag this was just full of socks and underwear but now this is just a kind of a mix of everything so I have this like travel journal that I took away I won't lie I said to myself that I was going to journal in this every week and I just didn't his socks were something that I didn't think I was going to need a lot of. When we were packing, Adam was like, I'm going to take so many socks. And I was like, why are you taking socks? We're going to be in flip-flops all the time. And then I ended up wearing my Vans all the time and really needed socks. I think with all the ones in the wash, I probably got about eight pairs of trainer socks, two pairs of compression socks, one pair of normal socks, one pair of fluffy socks. I'm like, there's no way that socks and pants need to take up all this room. But they did because I didn't have them in the right size packing queue. And then just hiding in the bottom of here is my bum bag. This was the last thing that I took. So that is everything that was in my main rucksack. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I've now created a massive mess. I wasn't sure if I was gonna film this or whether I was just gonna unpack. Um, but now I've made it even worse for myself to now unpack. Um, but yeah, I hope that's helpful in seeing like the kind of things that you maybe should take away on a trip and what you don't actually really need. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like me to film whilst I'm back at home. I'm going to be doing a lot more travel planning videos. Um, I think my next one might be making a travel scrapbook because I have a massive empty scrapbook that I want to start filling now. Um, so let me know if you'd like to see that. And yeah, see you next time.